Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the last session, we have discussed what is an array, what are different types of arrays. And that first one is one-dimensional array. What do you mean by array? Simply, a simple definition, a list of values, that is a collection of values of same data type, that is all the values must be of similar data type that can be stored under one name. That is all the values have same name under one variable name using, using only one subscript, using only one subscript that is called one dimensional array. Remember, even though even though whether we are using one subscript or two subscripts, compulsory, all the elements are stored in contiguous fashion, contiguous memory location. That means in a sequential memory location. Here, subscript is represented by using square bracket and the subscript must be an integer constant. What do you mean by integer constant? Compulsory, it is a fixed integer value. Even though whether it is an integer variable, the variable is assigned with some value. The variable is assigned with some value. Or if it is an integer expression. But after evaluating the expression, that leads to some integer. That is, the, finally, the value of subscript is an integer. What is the syntax? The syntax is... First, data type. Data type specifies the type of elements that are stored in the array name. Array name, that is the name of the array. This is called subscript. Within the subscript, we are given size. This is the syntax. So, array name specifies the name of the array. This is any user defined name. And the type of elements are represented by data type. Size specifies the number of elements that are stored under this array. That is the maximum number of elements that can be stored. Generally, the sizes are represented by using, that means the indexes are represented by using 0 to size minus 1. I will explain that one also. 0 to minus 1. Now consider one example. Int a of 5. What is the meaning of this one? a is an array which contains 5 elements and all the elements are of integer data type. How much memory is allocated? For example, each integer assume it takes 4 bytes depending upon the architecture whether it is 2 bytes or 4 bytes. For example, assume if an integer variable takes two bytes. Here, how much memory is allocated for this array? So, for single element, two bytes. For five elements, five into two, ten bytes of memory is allocated. And what is the important thing? The important thing is all the ten elements are stored like this. All the five elements. Array name a of 0, a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, and then a of 4. You want to observe carefully how the L elements are stored. 0 to size minus 1. The first element here in this a of i. Here a is called name of the array whatever we are placed inside the brackets, that is inside the subscript is called index. What do you mean by index? Index in the sense, the position where that element is stored, the position where the element is stored is called index. So the first two element is stored at A of zero, that is index zero. Next index one, index two, index 3, index 4, like this. Each and every element stored like this. And all the elements, for example, if this address is 1000, automatically next element address is 1002. 
next element 1004 next element 1006 next element 1008 automatically everything is happened if you know only the starting address the starting address is also called as base address the starting address is also called as base address once we know the base address it is very easy to move to the next elements very easy to move to the next element now what is my next step this is called declaration this is called declaration that is we are declaring after that initialization what do you mean by initialization initialization in the sense once an array is declared we have to initialize that is assign the array with some values if you are not given any values garbage values will be stored that is the reason we have to initialize what are the two types of initializations we have two types one is the compile time initialization second one is run time initialization compile time initialization and then run time initialization first we will move to compile time initialization the name specifies what do you mean by compile time initialize the elements when the array is declared itself whenever we are declaring array at that same at the time of declaration we are initialize with the values so the syntax is data type followed by the name of the array with the size is equal to within flower brackets here we are assigning the list of values within flower brackets we are assigning list of values semicolon remember the list of values are separated with commas the list of values are separated with commas for example int a of 5 is equal to 10 11 12 13 minus 14 that is you can store either positive values negative values but all the values must be integer how they are stored this is the sequence in the memory they are stored like this at zeroth index observe carefully 10 11 12 13 14 14 are the values this is at position 0 index 1 index 2 index 3 index 4 at zeroth index value 10 is stored at index 1 value 11 is stored index 2 12 is stored index 3 13 is stored index 4 minus 14 is stored the values are stored according to the indexes according to the indexes for example for example int a of 5 is equal to if you are given only three values how much memory is allocated it allocates a total five elements memory 1 2 3 4 5 0 1 2 3 4 here the concept is instead of five elements if you are assigning only three elements what happens at zeroth position value 10 is stored at the first position value 11 is stored at the second position value 2 is stored but third and fourth positions no values are initialized if no values are initialized automatically system takes the values zero remember that thing automatically the default value if you are not assigning any value the default value zero zero will be initialized suppose another case is 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 now what is the case 10 is stored 11 is stored 12 13 14 0 0th index first index second index third index fourth index now what is where is the place for element 15 we are allocating memory only for five elements but we are assigning six values in this case it is not possible it gives some error like this too many initializers 
what do you mean by error too many initializers means we are assigning more than allocated values more than allocated values that is i am allocating only for five elements but we are trying to assign more than five values this is called compile time initialization next we will move to runtime initialization the name specify runtime initialization in the sense we are assigning the values at the time of at the time of execution that is simply by using scan of statement simply by using scan of statement okay so like this first first before this one i will explain the example for compile time also i will write both are side by side compile time initialization the procedure is first to write main int a of 5 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 you have to print all the values this is a one dimensional array generally we are using loops why because to print a single value one print of statement is sufficient but here we have five values so a print of statement is repeated five times so i am using a loop for i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus print f percentage d comma a of i this is the way to print the values i will explain the procedure this is zeroth index first index second index third index fourth index first i is equal to 0 a of 0 zeroth index a of 0 means the value present at j of 0 that is you have to know the meaning a of i what do you mean by a of i here i refers index a refers the name a of i refers value that is the value present at index i so simply 1 2 3 4 5 i will explain this concept later first next we will move to run time initialization like this within the main int a of 5 comma some variable i semicolon see this one here i am not assigning any values we have to read five values i is equal to 0 i less than 5 i plus plus read five values that is the scan of statement is executed five times ampersand a of i what is the meaning of this one first we are assigning zero the index so our first element is stored at a of 0 second element is a of 1 third element is a of 2 fourth element is a of 3 and then fifth element is a of 4 for reading the scan of statement is repeated four times in the simple sense for printing also so my program is just to read and print the values print f percentage d comma a of i so simply the values present at that index is printed this is the way to initialize by using compile time and then run time finally we are moving into the last point accessing the most important point accessing array elements so what is the thing once we have to declare array and then we have to initialize the array after declaration and initialization by using subscript that is this one this subscript specifies the position of the element in the array the subscript specifies the position of the element in the array the subscript starts from 0 Zero in the sense the first two number present in the array, and the second number is present at index one. Next two number is present at index two. For example, int a five is equal ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So the first two element is present at index zero, present at index one, index two, index three, index four. So zero, one, two, three, four are called indexes. Indexes, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen are called values. 
if you are combining array name with index that means a of 0 what is the meaning of this one a of 0 means the value at index 0 in array a that is in array a the value at index 0 is represented okay that means for i is equal to 0 suppose i less than 5 i plus plus scanf percentage d m percent a of i what is the meaning of this one first to i is equal to 0 means m percent a of 0 we know m percent in the sense address that is whatever the value we are passing that is stored in the first two element in the next iteration i plus plus i value is 1 m percent a of 1 next element is stored at index 1 next element index 2 next element index 3 and so on simply if you are writing the printf statement like this the value present at that particular index now this is the concept of one dimensional array simply this is the syntax of declaration once we are declaring the next step is initialization first one is the compile time initialization second one is the runtime initialization and finally once the initialization is completed the most important thing is accessing accessing the elements by using one subscript why because it is a one dimensional array we are using only one subscript and perform the operation that is reading or writing we are using only one for loop in the next session we will move to two dimensional arrays thank you